As supplied switches 4, 5 and 6 are off and stabilisation is disabled. Normally if you're using a single aileron servo it is plugged into the aileron channel and switches 4 and 5 are on for a conventional wing. Switch 6 will be off. If however you have two aileron servos the second one goes into auxiliary 1 and switch 6 has to be turned on. This tells the stabiliser that there are two servos connected and provides stabilisation on both the left and right ailerons. This will be the most common setup for many models with conventional wing and two aileron servos. If you have a delta wing model, then you plug into the aileron and elevator uh, channels. Switch 4 has to be on and 5 and 6 will normally be off. For a V-tail model, the servos go in the elevator and rudder outlets. And of course, in this case, the switches have to be off for 4, on for 5, and off for 6, unless you have twin aileron servos, in which case number 6 will be on, and the ailerons will be plugged into the aileron and auxiliary 1 output as usual. In cases where dip switch 6 is off, then auxiliary 1 is available for use as a normal output, for example for gear or for flaps. In the situation where you're using two aileron servos and dip switch 6 is on, then you have to set the appropriate wing type on the transmitter, either dual aileron or flapperon. 